Many titled people have lived here at Wentworth Woodhouse, including the Earls of Strafford and the Marquesses of Rockingham. In this film, we are looking at F for Fitzwilliam. Charles Watson Wentworth, second Marquess of Rockingham, died in 1782 without a son to inherit his estates. Instead, they passed to William Fitzwilliam, his eldest nephew, who was the son of Lady Anne Watson Wentworth and the third Earl Fitzwilliam. When he inherited the estate, Wentworth Woodhouse looked slightly different to the way we see it today. William added a second floor to both the north and south wings of the house to increase the number of available bedrooms. He also engaged John Carr of York to create the magnificent main staircase inside the house. As a tribute to his uncle, he built the beautiful Rockingham Monument, which contains a superb statue of the second Marquess facing Wentworth Woodhouse himself. He also named his own son, Charles. The fourth Earl's inheritance made him one of the largest and wealthiest landowners in the country, with estates in Yorkshire, Ireland, and near Peterborough. He was responsible for developing the coal mines of the Wentworth Woodhouse estates, which by 1825 were amongst the most productive in Britain. We are fortunate enough to be able to see some of the fourth Earl Fitzwilliam's correspondence detailing how he cared for his land, and in particular, his tenants, including how he supported the vaccination of children against smallpox. But that's a subject of another video that we'll release soon. Keep a lookout for future films about the Fitzwilliams and their amazing histories. Join us next time when we look at some recently uncovered messages from the past. <laughs>